Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Online with me, Longclaw Valerian Steel. Well as promised, today is the day that the Red Dead Online DLC Blood Money has been released and I'm bringing you the earliest content I can get my hands on. So start off by going to this location in Saint Denis to meet your new contact, Guido Martelli. So we know that the Blood Money DLC is all about criminality. We're going to be robbing and breaking the law. So let's see how this works. There's a few people on the map also trying to get to this location uh, because it's literally just dropped within the last five minutes. So here is your first cutscene and a first look at our new contact. Okay, so let's get into this together and see how it all works. Check out the channel for the rest of the content and don't miss a trick. So it seems that this is the front man for the blood money criminality role. Let's call it a role. And essentially after this little bit of contact here, we can start to begin our blood money work. So how's it going to work? What's the whole deal? Well, this is a, if you like, a free mode uh, DLC, bringing the a different role and a different responsibility for all Red Dead Online players free of charge simply by visiting this spot and going through this cutscene. Guido is explaining here that it's all about this new currency which is a high risk currency called Capitale used by the most exclusive and the richest citizens of Saint Denis. It's a way of spending corrupt money, bearer bonds. So our job is to try and retrieve this Capitale, which is now out there somewhere in the world, being used for a whole host of criminal activities. And essentially, that's what we're going to be doing. Chasing down people, killing them, robbing homesteads, trains, all kinds of stuff. And it progresses much like the other roles in Red Dead Online. So if you're already doing any of the other roles like the bounty hunter role or the naturalist role or the moonshine trader whatever you know that you rank up slowly now we need to talk about the quick draw club pass now this is something i mentioned in my video yesterday and i'm going to bring more information on this but this is the reformed version of the outlaw pass so the last outlaw pass outlaw pass number five uh it ran out i think at the end of may and this new pass which is launched today has replaced that and there's a reason for that because it links very much with this new blood money criminality role as you progress through these contracts that you can access via your existing free mode uh, mission contacts such as this guy here um you can access these anywhere you like uh, wherever you are and you can choose to, to do all kinds of different things. I'm going to start off with this first one, which is holding up a stagecoach and retrieving some Capitale and then taking it to one of the contacts. Now, as you progress through this, your benefits and rewards for the quick draw club are the, the, the rank up roll benefits that you get. So I'm going to show you in this video how I've ranked up to level five already just by doing i think three or four of these maybe five of these blood money missions and as you do what you five is your first benchmark you want to unlock the dutch outfit which was featured in the the newswire update this week as well as you get your first reimbursement of three gold bars and of course uh, other benefits as well 
so once you've visited your contact and, and taken on the blood money mission just follow the instructions on screen in this occasion we're heading to the, the Braithwaite stables we're going to take out all the guards and try to get our hands on the location of the stagecoach which hopefully will have the Capitale in it now, these missions aren't actually hard and you can do these as a solo mission and once you're in the mission you're in a safe private lobby no one is going to join you and, and interrupt you in that mission obviously during the, the launch process and when you're hunting down your targets to actually give you these jobs you're still in a public lobby but what happens then is that rockstar's very clever coding recognizes that you're then in a job and it's a private job so there aren't any you don't lose any lives either so there's nothing to lose here this is fun easy and more importantly it's free so you're not having to spend any money now the quick draw club does cost 25 gold bars and you start to get those reimbursements back as you rank up um level five again is your first benchmark that you want to try and get to so you can get your first reimbursement back and you're going to need 25 gold bars to buy in and the next uh, quick draw club pass period begins at the beginning of august so between now and august you can try to rank up and complete this role that is how it's going to work going forward exciting stuff right so here we are i've tracked down the stagecoach i just need to take out the driver and there are a couple of guards either side easy peasy and then you pick up the capitale and you need to deliver that to wherever it tells you on the screen and then you're free there isn't even a cooldown as far as i can see i'm not doing anything else at the moment just completing these blood money missions and there seems to be no cooldown so this could not be better and it seems to me that rockstar have I've listened to their community and responded doing exactly what the community have asked for. We want to do we want to break the law and and become a criminal and have some fun uh, without having to sort of grind and do the sort of buy and sell missions that come with the moonshine or the trader business. Of course, I love doing that. I'm a money grinder, but isn't it nice to have something to break up your time in game? And of course, you get a reward for a monetary reward for each of the uh, missions that you complete so i think i'm earning four to five um, dollars in game money and also a little bit of gold as well again listening to the community that's what we wanted we want to be able to earn gold earn money but also rank up and earn exclusive rewards so there are various contacts you don't really need to interact or you don't get to interact at this stage with Guido Martelli although he did say in that opening conversation that he is going to start rewarding you with some story missions uh, regarding a senator who I think is cor probably corrupt in Saint Denis and that will come later so I'm guessing that that will will be as I rank up maybe to uh, level 10 or something like that I will start to unlock those things I'm showing you here um, how I purchased the quick draw club um membership today number one and um, with my 25 gold bars and i did this straight away because you also get a 15 percent boost on the roll xp and that's your first real reward and then you're going to try and get to uh level five to re to uh, receive a 50 dollar um Ben, uh, bonus a, a payback so there are lots of reasons why this is a important addition to red dead online now of course the exclusive outfits that are going to come with it for example in this this one the, the big outfit that everyone will be talking about is the the dutch um, vanderbilt outfit and that is something that i want to get my hands on and i'll show you that at the end of the video um i'm trying to progress through these story these uh, blood money missions and try something different each time you can see that the stagecoach is now done i'm going to just take the next one here um and i think it's just stealing some cash and um, each of these is something different and again isn't it nice to have something refreshing and completely new to do in the game um my first comment i guess about these missions is that they're not particularly difficult it doesn't seem like it's too much of a challenge now that might be cool for some people um but the more experienced players might be looking for more of a challenge and i'm not sure how you would you would sort of beef it up in terms of the challenge um there are a number of enemies that you have to interact with on each of the missions um, but it doesn't you know it doesn't it doesn't provide too much of a challenge it's not that hard of course you're breaking the law so it's worth remembering that the the law the police uh, will be after you as soon as you for example here i'm going into a camp and i'm going to start taking out um 
I guess you could do this covertly, but I'm not really interested in that. I just went in quite loud with my Lancaster rifle shooting the hell out of everyone. And as soon as you take out the final member of the camp, you are you have a wanted level and the law will show up pretty quickly. The capital is somewhere in the camp and you need to get your hands on that and get out of the camp. So no time for looting any of these dudes, unfortunately. Um, and I did loot some of the, the guys that I took out in one of the earlier missions. Um, and they have a whole host of stuff, uh, antique bottles, collectibles, things like that. So it's definitely worth it. But unfortunately, when you're um when you have the law on after you you uh you need to get out of there and and get moving because um they'll, they'll put you down pretty quick so i'm just grabbing this and um i'll head out i'll get straight on the horse and head off um to lose uh, lose the, the the law first and then deliver the capitale to my new contact i'm trying to vary the location of where I pick up the new missions as well um, depending on where I am I seem to be sort of hanging around the roads area um, and the Saint Denis because that's where this the, the, the kickoff mission starts in Saint Denis um, there's a lot of dead drops as well so when it comes to delivering these sometimes you don't even interact with anyone you just have to visit a location and drop the bag at the location or walk towards the location and that's it and all done and as you can see each one of these that I complete I get a little bit of gold a little bit of money and importantly I rank up so I'm getting closer to that rank five okay so I'm back with uh, I think this guy's name is Samuel I'm back with him um, this is uh, I was quite interested in this one it's like robbing a homestead but in my mind I had the the idea that I would be actually going into a house and searching through it much like you do in the story missions which is a really cool uh, thing you don't really do that a lot and I was hoping for more of that but it seems that when I got to the homestead here I am now there's some guys stood out the back and they have the valuables there I don't know whether I was supposed to go through the building first or whatever but they were right there with the valuables so I just had to take them out didn't even need to go inside that was a bit of a disappointment because I was hoping that there would be some kind of sneaking around inside a homestead that's kind of cool isn't it um it's maybe someone's asleep in bed and you've got to either kill them or try and sneak past them that kind of thing but it seems to me that it's just a case of taking out whoever's around grabbing the capitale and then heading off and I see you can see here as soon as I um killed that last gang member the wanted level appeared straight away and once again this is a dead drop so I'm just going to drop this off and I think it seems to be that each one of these missions you complete you rank up another level uh, in the quick draw pass and I think that that might be because I've got the 15% boost attached from buying that pass right now so if you've got gold if you've got 25 gold bars um, use it to, to get that that quick draw pass um, so that you can you can get your hands on these rewards there you go so um, so I'm gonna head back to the nearest contact and I believe I'm just gonna head to roads again yeah and again this is Anthony Foreman. Again, there's no cooldown. As soon as you come back to any of these guys, you're able to just do another mission. I think the, the if I wanted to do the same mission again, you can see there's a cooldown there, but um, obviously you're gonna just keep switching up. And I think these missions get a bit more challenging each time you do it, um, depending on, you know, on, on this one, for example, the Jed Plebs contract says it's part one of three. So I guess that there's there's a link up there with the story. I just had to go to this um, stagecoach, take out the guards and the entourage all around it. And there's a prisoner in the back of the prison wagon. I just let him out. Now, this was a little bit confusing. So I let this guy out. He comes over and you have to approach him. Then the instruction comes on to the screen that you need to drop a dead bounty hunter in Van Horn. Now Jed tried to get on the back of my horse but of course I can't take the bounty hunter and Jed so I could have dragged that bounty hunter and kept Jed behind me but I did get a message on the screen saying that Jed was too far away but it didn't seem to matter when I got to Van Horn I dropped the bounty hunter on the floor and then all these bad guys appeared and you just need to take all of them out and eventually you can see the, the ones with the slightly bigger icon on the map the gang members they're the ones that will help you complete the mission so take all of those out and then you are done and it said that the Jed Plebs contract is over Jed Plebs lost um, okay 
So I've come to a different location now. It just happened to be the, the nearest one to my camp. And I want to try and interact with a different contact because there are all kinds of different contacts all around the map. It's not just one person. And this guy here gave me this cut seems really cool. Um, and he was babbling away about having murdered someone and that uh, he, he was being framed or something like that. So this particular mission was a bit more exciting. You had to go and take out a number of contacts. I think five different contacts. They're all in the same place in the fort. So you're going to take each one of those targets out uh, to complete the mission. And some of them are, in, are inside the fort and some of them are actually um, either moving away from it or I don't think they're running away. They just seem to be on the road coming in or out of the fort um, so you will know where this is we've been here before many times in the game and I just take this guy out first and you can see at the top of the screen there's actually six contacts uh, targets that I need to take out and whenever I come into this fort uh, sometimes I come here to take on the revenue agents or or, fort or collectibles or whatever there's usually a gang or something around I always just come into the front of it it's really easy there's a big rock there and you can just pick your targets up take out the ones on the roof I'm not really sure uh, which ones I think this guy I don't think that guy is but you can see on your map which ones are the the targets that you need to take out and there are obviously more bad guys there than targets so just keep shooting your way in and again um, I couldn't stop and loot these guys, although I, n I always make time to pick up my hat, because that's a must. Um, but I couldn't hang around and loot them, which feels a little bit like I want to. And you know what this game is like. As soon as you leave an area and go back, the bad guys are gone. Uh, so your opportunity to loot is gone. But there was one guy that was moving away, and you do have a timer ticking away. I know I had five minutes. I probably had time to loot them and and then come after this guy but i didn't want to risk it so he's on his way uh, I, don't, I just didn't know whether he was on his way somewhere and then potentially i might fail this mission although it doesn't seem that that's much of an issue so there you go you can see i ranked up to level five um and it pushes you directly towards your next target which is uh, i think a horse um accessory so there you go um level five achieved and that seemed to be where the first um, bonuses are paid out and particularly that as soon as I did that I got a notification that the there were some new items in my wardrobe which is what I'm looking for so this is a new outfit there it is this is the the Dutch outfit and it's very cool I'm not a big fan of walking around dressed like someone else but actually as I was walking around in it I thought okay yeah it actually does look quite cool so we're over at my moonshine shack. I have a little bit of a dance, chill out. Um, so this in, let's have a look at, let's summarize this. So the, the quick draw club pass, it connects directly to this brand new DLC, the blood money. You need both to really make it work. And I definitely say that it's worth it. And this has been fun and I'm gonna bring you some more content. I'm gonna keep banging away at this and get from level five to level 10 and I'll bring you that in another video. Take care out there, stay safe and I'll be back before you know it.